anything but selling those hams in my little meat market. And I will give you a little history now that my wife passed away in October of last year, and in her, in her obituary it stated that she supplied the seed money for the start of Stadler's Country Hams. If you don't know the story, what do you think? She must have had a lot of money if you know what Stadler's Country Hams is today, or was before we sold. Let me, let me give you the, the true story of that seed money. She and I married in June of 1955. We, she was working, making $160 a month at Burlington Industries, bringing home $132 a month. I was working at the, my dad's store, making $50 a week. Probably by that time, I might have gotten to $60 a week. At the end of that year, we decided if, if we wanted to buy a house, we'd have to start saving money. We decided that we would live on my salary, that we would save $100 a month of her salary. She could have the $32 a month for whatever she needed. And at the end of 1956, we have $1,000 in the bank. We've taken $100 one month for our vacation and $100 a month in December for our Christmas. And we looked for houses to buy, and for a half thousand dollars down then, the houses that we were able to buy, couldn't, we didn't want. <clears throat> so I convinced her that I would take the thousand dollars if she would allow me, and I would buy fresh hams and this was about in February of 1956, so now we don't have those winter months to use. She said, but where are you gonna cure your hams? I said, I will rent space at the locker plant where I used to work. Talked to the man that owned the locker plant. He said, Virgil, if you're going to supply all, the, all of the material and you do all the work, I will rent you space in the curing part back there 25 cents a ham. Done deal. My parents did not think that I could get that many fresh hams at one time from a packer. I did it anyway. I asked her father, my father-in-law, if I could use his garage to hang the hams. He uh, allowed me to do it another dirt floor but I put two before's across it and hung all of those hams after they come out of cure and I left them in cure then in the salt rooms for about 50 to 60 days because I had to get complete penetration hung them there every ham that was there I took to the store and sold every one and that finally allowed my father to realize I was serious about really getting into producing hams and having them for the store and maybe even selling some. So with this photograph now, note the back door on the store. You see the little shed back there? This, this allowed my dad to build a little cooler on the back of the store. That was my, quote, wintertime room, my, quote, salt room. I brought them ham, the hams out in that little shed, had to wash them because they stayed in, the, in that room about 60 days, about two months. You know what they look like? Moldy, bad looking, this type of thing. And you literally had to wash every ham. I had a little, little table out there, a little faucet, put them on in a scrub brush, used a rubber apron, rubber boots. And many times I was working out there in my hams and they come and get me to go in and cut some pork chops or a steak in the meat market because my dad was never worked behind the meat counter. It was totally foreign to him. 